Hi guys, this is the Lions Forge Craft Laser and you're here to learn how to use it. Let's go! Hi guys, welcome back. If you are new here, please like and subscribe on my channel. When we are talking about laser cutting, we are using a thin focus laser for cutting and etching on materials into custom designs so when we are handling laser you have to follow proper safety rules and these are things to take note okay guys for the first step of safety rules make sure the exhaust is fully exposed and let out a window making sure that the exhaust gas or fumes are dispersed out away from your work area also since this machine is a huge machine make sure it has uh, ample power supply and if you are using extension wires make sure the extension wires is not overloaded with other accessories as well please Familiarize yourself and locate where is the emergency stop button. The emergency stop button is located on the right side of the machine. Okay, If there is any emergency, please do not hesitate to press the button. And if you are using the machine, make sure the e-stop button is released. This is the main Lions Forge cutting drawer. Open it up and make sure that it is clean and free from debris. Alright guys, so laser cutting process follows a three step process, creation, conversion and cutting. So in the creation process, you can download any image on the net for your design, manually drawn on a piece of paper and scan or you design using a computer aided design. Secondly, you convert it based on whether you want to etch or you want to cut. Once you get the G-code, lastly, then you send it for cutting on your machine. Okay guys, so first and foremost, you should open up the Inkscape program provided to you when you purchase Lions Forge Craft Laser. This is the program that is provided by them when you purchase their product. So off the get-go, when you open the program under extensions, make sure you have these two extensions available, which are 305 Engineering and Generate G Code for Repetier. So, what are the differences between these two extensions? 305 Engineering is much more for etching, or should I say, is more for etching, and Repetier is for cutting the material uh, straight. So, um, we are going to explore Repetier for today's lesson. So before we start, go under Files, uh, make sure your document properties, the settings and orientations should be the same as the cutting drawer on the Lions Forge. So we're going to match it up and so that you have the proper orientation and minimize error when you are doing your cutting of the image that you want. So under files, go to document properties and select uh, default units as mm. We'll be dealing in mm and uh, page size A3, the orientation landscape. And after these three parameters are set, you can close this window. Now you should be looking at a landscape uh, A3 size uh, blank uh, rectangle. So, the next thing you want to do is import the image that you want. So, when we are importing an image, it can be an image that you save over the internet or an image that you draw over a white background and you scan. That kind of image can also be used in laser cutting. Okay, So, uh, I'm going to import an image from the web. So just a sample exercise and I choose this umbrella image, vector image. So as you can see, it's a bit too big for the work area. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold control and any one of these sizing or scaling handles, I'm going to click uh, and hold control button. <coughs> Sorry. And I shall resize it uh, into a smaller scale. I'm going to resize it all the way down to about 7 cm across. So how do I know it's 7cm? I'm looking here at the height. It's roughly 70mm across. So uh, it's about 7cm. So I'm going to hold control and the scroll wheel. I'm going to zoom in. So I have a better perspective of what I'm dealing with. So this is the image that I have just imported. So what you're going to do now is you're going to left click and right click and click on trace bitmap. Whatever values here, these are the values that I have and you click OK. Once you click OK, it gives you a uh, path, a path of 17 two notes in layer 1. This actually uh, create a path for the laser nozzle to cut on the material that you have. So once I have done that, I shall go to extensions and generate G-code for Repetier. And these are the parameters that is ideal to do the cutting. 3000 for travel speed, laser speed is uh, 300 laser power 100 directory is important it specifies where this file will land once you save and what is the file name that you want to give so i'm going to give it umbrella uh, umbrella 2 and click on apply so that file will be saved under the directory that you have specified now let's go to the directory uh, so for the file that you have got from generating uh, the G code after you generate the G code inside the directory that you have specified just copy over from that uh, file directory into your SD card here so I have done it here now this part here I will elaborate more on how you are going to etch on a material so from the software I have already done up the same uh, steps that I've done before. Um, I set the document settings, property, sorry, and an image that I have imported and used again, which is the umbrella. Now I'm going to use a different extension that will be generating the G code for etching. So under extensions, you click 305 engineering, click on raster to laser G code. So this is the settings or parameters that you need to have. The export directory must be defined into a folder that you prefer where the uh, file will land. A uh, file name, I will specify it as umbrella 4. So the resolution is 10 pixel per mm. Uh, the black white conversion algorithm should be half tone uh, 1 to 8 and the engraving speed is 200 <coughs> so once you have all these parameters uh, in place then you click apply now for the black white conversion algorithm when you are using images you select half tone but if you are using logos you should select Black white, sorry, black white fixed threshold. All right, just take note of that. So this machine can cut paper, wood, fabric, glass, acrylic, and etch on ceramic. It, however, cannot cut on tough materials such as metals or anything above the hydrocarbon category. So take note. So today we are gonna cut on acrylic. One pro tip from me is that the film. Please remove it, remove on the surface that you are cutting on, remove the film so that later on you do not have to deal with uh, peeling the protective film which is a bit troublesome.
Okay. Alright guys, so I have placed my acrylic on the cutting drawer in the Lion's Forge craft laser. So make sure the bottom left is touching the bottom uh, left side of the cutting drawer because the laser starts from here. The laser starts from here, from this side. So it has to be uh, aligned on more to the left. And things to take note is that you can use a tape and make sure you tape the acrylic. This is too big, but make sure you place a masking tape all right, in the areas where you're not going to cut. If I, for me, I'm sure I'm going to cut in this region. So this tape here does not interfere with the cutting, cutting region. And uh, use the masking tape to tape the acrylic down so that when you push the drawer in, right? It's hard for me to do it right now. When you push the drawer in, the acrylic does not uh, shift. So it, it stays aligned on the bottom left. All right? So, next in line, I will switch on the main switch at the back. Right. For cutting of uh, acrylics, I have to tweak the settings. Okay, this is a craft laser reference chart based on the work that you wish to be done on the material whether it be cutting or engraving since we are using acrylic and the thickness is 3mm the power setting that you should use is 2 third and speed multiplier is 130% so I'm going to tweak this so that it will bring the laser nozzle closer to the material so that you will have a cleaner cut all right now once you wish to start the cut take the sd card insert it into the cut slot it will detect select your file that you wish to print and press the button so guys, so after I have sent the acrylic for cutting, this is how it looks like. This is the finished product when I cut using the G-code. So when you engrave, right, uh, you still use the G-code, but it will cause a depression instead of a clean cut from this uh, material. So guys, I hope my video helped you a lot. If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe on my channel. And if you have questions, please don't forget to put it in the comments below. Um, and see you on the next one. Bye.